guacamole we're going to start with dicing up all the vegetables that are going to go into our mix uh, first we have a tomato uh, i'm just going to dice it up uh, the way i like to dice a quicker way to dice is almost like sizzling uh, an onion same concept pretty much you're not going all the way through the tomato you still it's a still intact you're just making slits one way and then going back same thing and one more and then you just turn it on its side and of course you got nice nice diced tomato That's it for the tomato. Add that right into the to the bowl. Um, when uh, important thing to remember with guacamole is you can literally add anything you want uh, instead of regular regular fresh tomatoes. You could try it with um, sun-dried tomatoes. Um, there's all types of guacamole out there that you can definitely try to impress your friends with. Uh, we're going to dice up a jalapeno. I like a little heat to mine. Whenever you're using peppers, if you don't like the too much of the spice, make sure you uh, get rid of the seeds from there. I'm just going to chop it up pretty fine. Run your knife through that. Nice little mince. You don't want big chunks of jalapeno in your guacamole. And just add that right to the pot. Boom. That's done. We'll give it a quick wipe. Get those seeds off the board. Throw this out. Next up, we got the garlic. Give it a quick smash. We're gonna gonna make a because you don't want big chunks of garlic in your guacamole. Gonna make almost a a paste out of the garlic. I'm just gonna quick mince it up a little bit, get them into smaller pieces, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick little garlic paste. So we got our garlic right there. I'm gonna add a little bit of coarse salt, kosher salt. It's gonna use, it's gonna act as a grinder for us. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife, you're just gonna press it against the board, scraping it. It's gonna take a little while. But you'll see, you'll see the garlic start to break down and turn into a paste if you don't mind the garlic you can cut you can chop it real fine and it'll be just fine but i like to pretty much incorporate it as a paste for my preference if you don't like garlic at all don't put any garlic. This stuff takes a little, a little bit of patience, but you can sort of see it now that the garlic is starting to form as a paste.
as you see as I spread it across it's starting to you can see it become a paste and just keep doing that I know it takes a little bit of patience and time and a little bit of effort not too much but I'm telling you it comes out a lot better it incorporates with the guacamole and flavors the the whole thing as you can see it's it's pretty much there right now I'm just gonna go ahead and do it run my knife through it a little bit more And we're there. I'm going to add that right to the bowl. Next up, we got our onion. I'm going to show you a lot of people at home um, pretty much have trouble with dicing onions. It's, it's not an easy task, especially if you don't know exactly how. I meant to, I forgot to mention, when you're dicing an onion, you want to make a clean surface or a flat surface on the opposite side of the core end. This is the core end. This is the, this is the side you wanna make flat. And we're gonna lay it down right there. Give it a nice slice right in half. You're gonna uh, break off the peel. Right. This one's giving a little trouble course give it a nice peel I'm throw that in the garbage make sure you get the peel all the peel off you don't want that in the guacamole again the onion is to preference um, you don't have to have it in there I like to have it in there I like I like the onion flavor it also gives it a nice presentation you could use white uh, yellow or white onion but it's not the same because you don't get that same visual effect as this will give you again peel the onion same thing and now you got you're gonna lay it on the long flat side and you're just gonna give it a couple slits as you can see I didn't go all the way through you're gonna go you want this very you know you want it pretty small so you're gonna give it a good good amount of slits right through the thing and it's still intact now you're gonna go through it one at the bottom swing your knife not all the way through one in the middle and then one at the end um, a good trick from keeping yourself from crying with onions is make sure your onions are refrigerated it slows down the the escape of the sulfuric acids so it doesn't hit your eyes as quickly and you'll be able to chop onions without crying your eyes out I'm gonna do the other side same thing Give it a nice little wiggle in the middle. And then one for good measure. And just run your knife right through that. There you go. Put that to the with the group. Got some nice onion. Now that we're done with the onion, I'm gonna go ahead. And go with the cilantro. Cilantro is a is a it's a good herb to work with. 
um, it could overpower things so you don't want to add too much you want to go to preference uh, if you don't want a lot or you don't like the cilantro taste as much start with a little bit you know all you really need is about a um, quarter to a half a cup of cilantro just run your knife through it I like to make sure it's nicely chopped you don't want a big piece of cilantro just sitting in your teeth, especially if you're doing this for a party. You don't want your guests to be having leaves just hanging from their teeth. So give it a nice little run through. And then you can go ahead and add that to the pot. All right, I'm gonna finish up with the cilantro into the bowl. And we're doing pretty good. We're almost done. Cilantro is done. I'm gonna grab my avocado. I like to uh, keep my avocados cold, nice and cold, to keep them crisp. Um, you're gonna start by just cutting them in half. Always save the avocado for last. That's the last thing you want to do. They oxidize very quickly. This is a very ripe one. Um, not too bad. Um, this is one of the rare ones that you can find. That actually, the seed comes pops right out of it. Uh, you want to take any of the dark spots. I like to take off. You don't want you don't want that that color to affect the guacamole. So I just cut that out. Do the same to the other side, other avocado. Oh, both of them. Must be a lucky day. Cut out the bad part. Because these are uh, a little dark, and there's a little dark spots. Um, the way to pick out avocado is uh, by its feel. You want to feel it. Um, you'll touch the outside of the skin. You want to make sure it has a little bit of give, but not too much. You, you know, too much means it's over ripe, and most likely it will be too dark when you cut into it um, so when you get it to this point what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it a couple slices back in here and then another slice the opposite way and then when you go and take your spoon and you just, just scrape it out and you can see that it comes out in nice chunks you don't have to worry about it and we're gonna do that for the rest of them so just bear with me I think I need some avocado cutting music. I should have some Spanish music playing in the background or something. I know my wife is in the she's in the living room actually watching Celia Cruz movie. <laughs> Put me in the mood of making uh, Spanish Spanish food. Once you get the avocado in there, now it's time for the lime. The lime, what it does, it actually helps it from uh, 
keeping it from oxidizing keeps it a little fresh keeps it from turning brown a little bit too you know so you want to add the eggs you know once you're done with the once you're done cutting that up get the spoon out of the way uh, so that. Uh, I like the lime flavor so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the juice of two limes I'm good um, as you see what I'm doing to get the juices flowing just rub it against the board keeps it gets it uh, nice and soft so that when you go to squeeze it I don't know if you ever try to squeeze a line that's too hard it's pretty much you know kills your hand too hard and it's hard to get the juice out that just keeps uh keeps it from being too stiff all right now we have the avocado and so got the lime all in there we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna throw out all this stuff clean up my board just like put away. And that's it. We're done with the cutting board. And wash your hands. Alright. Now this step it's time to season. Um I like to add a little bit taste it and then if I need more I add more so I start out with a decent dose of salt you don't want to salt too much because the salt becomes too pro uh, dominant in there and it could be overpowering a uh, little bit of pepper you have a jalapeno so you don't need too much pepper my little secret is a little bit of cumin uh, add a little dash you don't need that much it's a strong spice uh, it could overpower the dish as well, so you just want to add a little bit. Uh, I like to add this, you know, a little bit of olive oil. Uh, it helps with the mixing process and gives it a nice little smooth uh, finish. Just add like a tablespoon. And now you're ready to mash. So you just mash it up here. Turn the bowl. Avocado is perfect. And it should be easy to incorporate everything. Uh, I like a little texture with a little bit of texture, so I don't like to beat it up too much. Smash it up a little bit. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up with a spoon. I'm just gonna. Mix it up. This looks good. Give it a little taste. See how that tastes. Mm. Perfect. Good bit of acidity. Good salt. It's perfect. Good to go. I'm going to show you how to store it. Just so that it doesn't oxidize on you. Just gonna take it here, put it in a Tupperware bowl. Get all of it in there. It's too good to waste. You see how? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover the top and you're gonna push down to cover the edges so that the film actually touches and keeps keeps it from turning it's going to keep it fresh for a lot longer and of course like most Tupperware bowls it's hard to find the, the top can't find the top for it but you know you put the top on put it in the fridge keep it nice and cold it's good to go 